I never thought I would see the day so in case you guys don't know what you probably don't know I have personally gone out of my way to DM drowning uh, with suggestions so I've sent him what styles need balancing what needs to be changed what styles are broken and what we need fixed and I've just looked at the update log and it covers pretty much nearly everything I've requested in that private video for him so there's new knockdown updates new arenas let me just fuck buy that oh Undertale let me just buy all of that real quick you know judgment oh judgment hole oh that is sick but that i'm gonna be using that from on that is a sick idea we gotta wait till this whole resets and stuff but bullet big buffs block damage greatly increased ability reverted uh to being able to bullet jab after enemy dashes much more reliable slight overall stat increases and range decreased is bullet going to be one of the strongest sounds in the game right now probably we will test it soon slugger uh, slugger m2 can now can be perfect dodged more consistent slash reliable animations delay between attacks reduced and uncharged attacks deal less damage slash block damage thank you hands low ultimate now does 40 percent of damage but you get blind on your right side lower accurate he he <laughs> but this actually has a noticeable effect in the game wolf you can now actually dodge white fang and perfect dodge window decrease but dodging is more reliable to compensate thank you it literally dodging white fang was next to impossible unless you had like 10 ping it was impossible i'm so glad this has been finally changed let's move on now here's the really important stuff for me hawk slash freedom sway back nerfed no more double dashes and longer cooldown buff between dashing Thank you, Johnny. Again, I love you. Thank you so, so much for actually listening to me. Ghost jab range increase, lower accurate, yes, good. But this is really, really important for charge and hammer. So stampede has been changed from cooldown to being charged by punches thrown, which is something I've been praying for for ages. So we have just killed all the passive charge users. You passive users can no longer run around corners and just wait for your ability that is now gone. Stampede charge stampede change to be faster and further away, which I don't know why he did that, but hey yeah, who am I to judge anything? Hammer body blow has been changed from cooldown to being charged by punches blocked. Again, thank you. You have just single-handedly drawn and cured the majority of passive charger hammer users truly i thank you for this there's also some uh back stuff and here's another important thing uh we'll actually move backwards properly now and put some distance before your opponent after knockdown which is very good i'm glad they fixed this blinded kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie it looks so strong anyway but yeah it is what it is tldr basically in short wolf fixed slugger fixed bullet fixed sway back nerfed stampede is not just waiting around anymore thank you for Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. So, as we can clearly see, very, 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 very amazing update, in my opinion. I am so happy about 99.9% .9 of the things mentioned in this video. But yeah, don't mind me just yapping. Let's actually see. Let's try to test some of this stuff. What really interests me is the range of the ghost jab. So, for today's video, we're gonna focus on that single-handedly. We're just gonna give it a little... Let me just, uh, get my stuff. Alright, let's test it. Okay, so the range is actually way... And I do mean way better, which I'm so happy to see. Alright, let's try it from this range. Oh yeah, that's way better. Oh, that is so much better. Apparently, you have longer cooldown between dashes, which don't really see on the side dashes. I think he meant back dashes. Uh, yeah, there's... A, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's definitely a bit more cooldown. Uh, I would still prefer that to go up just a tiny incy beansy width. But other than that, that is pretty decent compared to how it used to be. Now, freedom. Let's test freedom dashes, which are also annoying. So, we're gonna go ahead and test that. Oh, yeah, okay. So, there is definitely way more cooldown on freedom, which is great because now your opponent can't just dun dun dun. Now they gotta dun dun. I, I'm explaining with noises. But I, I don't see a Kimura nerf, unfortunately. I don't see a Kimura nerf, which is probably going to be still worked on. So, Drowning still didn't add that, but I believe that's going to be worked on. Anyways, so let's see how, how big is the cooldown. Okay, so that's actually really good. So, you got to do like two and a half. All right, yeah, you got to do like two and a half. You, you require two and a half uh, M1 strings to get your Stampede back, which is great. You don't. <laughs> All right, so we have no way of testing how many body blows you have to do on a put on a, on a like how many you gotta block, like how many hits you gotta block to get your body blow back. But that's about it. 
Anyways, that about summarizes up this video. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing a bullet review. We're gonna check out just how much better bullet got, and we're gonna see if it's actually worth using now. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye, chat.